In this lecture, I'm going to show you guys how you can white balance your footage using two different methods. So first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and just open the scopes right here. And I'm not even going to look to the image. I'm just going to focus on the scopes and maybe the waveforms as well. Here I have one node, we have gallery, and I'll start with the first method. So what I'm going to do is play with the temperature and the tints, okay? So we can see here that we have a lot of blue. The blue is dominant in the video. So we have to drag the temperature to the right to increase the red because the temperature parameter controls the red and the blue. Okay, and you can see in the waveform that we don't have three layers of colors. We have one white color and that's a good sign toward the white balance in your footage. So like this, we have uh, three colors and like this, we have a white balanced footage. Okay, the next thing if I go ahead and go single mode parade, you can see that we have a problem with the green color. So it's still down here. It's not on the same level as the red and the blue. So you can fix that using the tent. So the tent controls the green and the magenta. I'm going to drag to the left to add a little bit of green. And finally, of course, since this is very dark and we don't work on DC movies, I'm going to go ahead and increase the lights like this. And here we have it. So as you can see, you guys, I trust the scope pretty much that I don't have to look to the footage unless I'm color grading something or I'm trying to copy a look. Okay, so this is the first method. I'm going to go ahead and quickly grab this still. And then I'm going to name it. And then change label and I'm going to name it white balance temperature. And let's go ahead and use the second method, which is going to be the color wheels. So using the color wheels, what we're going to do is start with the offsets. And since bluish is dominant, we're going to move the opposite direction of blue, which is yellowish, reddish, oranges orange -ish. and I'm just moving the offsets a little bit you know just a little bit the opposite direction that's it and I want to continue with the gain okay so the gain control the lights okay here we go and that's pretty much balanced let's go ahead and increase this here Okay, here we have it. Okay, you guys. Now, when you white balance and you don't have to worry about the shadows, the only thing that matters is the light. And once the lights are okay, everything else falls apart. Of course, if it doesn't fall apart as you want, that means you are color grading and you can then choose whatever look you want to do. So for example, here, if I was color grading, I would go ahead and move the shadows a little bit, make them brighter like this. Is it too dark? But we're just focusing now on white balance, which means these things right here. Now let's check the waveform. And you can see they're pretty much balanced. Okay. Now let's look at the difference between the two. So if I, you can barely see the difference. You see that? So you can see that I have this thing activated, okay? So when this thing is activated, if I hover over this still, it's gonna show me the still and the footage I'm working on, okay? So the left side shows the still and the right side shows the node. You can see that they pretty much look the same, okay? And of course, we always have the automatic white balance of course you can use it if you want i don't use it personally so that is pretty much for this tutorial of course there are different ways to achieve white balance that i'm going to share on the next the ventures of color correction tutorial thanks for watching you guys and see you soon